everybody, and what are we going to talk about today on Coffee and Questions? We're going to talk about twist bits and auger bits. Last one we talked about is we talked about step bits, and the one just before this video, you know, we talked about Forestner bits. So this might just complete the circuit, but I wanted to talk about these because people are making some errors on purchasing these without knowing. And I'm going to talk about just the ones that I purchased. We're going to start here with Harbor Freight's Hercules brand. And these are the drill bits that they advertise for $20. Question is, are they good or are they not? Well, that depends. And I'm going to show you a couple of others that are worth considering too that I own. And we'll talk about all three of them. Give me just a sec. I'll put up the next pair. Another drill bit set I own is this right here. This is the Milwaukee. I gave you the part number. This is an Amazon ad, but it's the same set that I own. I got it out at Home Depot. It's a titanium red helix drill bit set, 19 piece. Okay. This is a great deal also, but I have one other one I want to show you, then we'll start talking about them individually and which one I would buy. For the other one, this is the DeWalt 21 piece speed tip set. I own this too. I mean, some of these, one of these at least or two I got as a gift, and the other one I purchased. So we're going to talk about Harbor Freights versus the Milwaukee versus the DeWalt. And so I'll take questions from here. These are the sets that I own, so the only ones I can really comment on, at least for the video. Um, your question relates to different types of twist bits. Okay, all three of these that I showed you, these are multi-purpose drill bits. And the reason why I call them multi-purpose and the easiest way to identify them is take a look at the tips. They have a V tip. I'm going to show you a better picture and then I'll explain to you the other two types that are most commonly used. Okay, now take a look at the very tip of this and you'll see that it's V tipped. So this to me is a multi-purpose drill bit. Now, that's opposed to two others. The next one I'm going to show you is what they call a pilot bit. Let me change the picture and I'll show you. Okay, let's take a look at the one on the upper left to me in the picture. And this is, this is the pilot point tipped drill bit. The ones to the right here, the series of these, these are brad points. So now you understand. I mean, you have multi-purpose, you have pilot, which is here on the left, and you have brad point, which is the ones here on the right. So as we go through the discussion, and I do some of the questions and answers, you'll understand what we're talking about. I'm going to show you a couple of others and we'll get right to the question. Okay, two other types before we get into the question so everybody understands. The one over here on the left, this is a masonry bit. And it's made for masonry. It's made for stone, block walls, things like that. The ones above my head here, these are auger bits. And carpenters use these, I mean, as well as home hobbyists and everybody else. So the one above me is really meant for wood only. Masonry bit on the left, of course, for masonry. Okay, now let's go to some questions and I'll see if I can clear up some things that people are asking. What are the differences in some of the bits? Well, the V-tip are what they are. They're multi-purpose. They're standard use. And, I mean, you can use them, but like I said, they'll, they'll split out the bottom when you go through wood. So always clamp a scrap piece of wood under it if you can and then drill from the top down into that scrap wood and you should avoid that split out. Now other people say you can use tape and it'll do the same thing. Tape is a hit and miss thing. One of the things that's going to cause the least amount of tear out is clamping scrap wood under it if you're going to go through wood. Okay, now we're talking about wood and metal both. That was, you know, my comments on the wood part of this. What are they good for? Pilot tip. Well, it has an extension on that tip of the drill bit like I showed you and what it does is it actually starts a pilot hole, just like the name pilot. And so it stops that skating, like when you first touch it on something. Now, I don't have that problem. I either use a punch with a hammer or I use a spring-loaded punch. And I usually, you know, make a, a decently good, you know, punch mark. And I try to avoid that problem entirely. But these pilot points, I mean, they're meant to start that hole. Now, are they dead-on precise? Yeah, for the most part, they are. But if you want something really precise, then you're going to go to the brad point. Now, pilot and brad point are not the same. And I, and I showed you pictures. There is a difference there. And people get them mixed up all the time. And whenever they pick up a drill bit and it's really a pilot, they're calling it a brad and vice versa because they don't understand that the difference is in the tip. Now, the more accurate drilling one, of course, is going to be the brad point. But like I said, there are uses for the pilot if that's what you happen to have. And I have a combination of all of them. And I use them in different ways on different things. And sometimes it doesn't matter. And I just want to simply drill a hole. And a question, why do I say or why do I keep favoring the brad point? 
Um, well, you're not going to have really hardly any tear out to worry about. I mean, that's one thing. It has a very sharp pointed tip and it makes the alignment to that mark where you want to drill much easier than the pilot. I mean, so that's the reason why I say it. But if you have better luck with the other one, it's whatever works for you. I'm explaining to you the, you know, the three differences. And a lot of times there's no difference in price. It's just people just look and go, oh, look, a pack of drill bits and they grab them. And then they go tearing out of the store and they're not thinking about, well, gee, do you know the differences in the tips? And the answer is usually no, you don't. And the answer for the most part is most of the time when these are on sale, whether it's Bosch, Milwaukee, DeWalt, you know, whatever, you know, they're going to be the multi-purpose bits. But sometimes they have the Brad points and the pilots on sale too. And it's just nice to know, you know, what the differences are. So those are the differences. Next question. Uh, what are the best bits to buy? Uh, I would tell you the best bits that I ran across, a friend of mine that's a mechanic has them, they're made by a company called Walter, W-A-L-T-E-R. You can take a look at them on Amazon. They run about $100, $110 to $120 for a set. And, I mean, they're outstanding, the quality. I mean, it's incredible. Now, um, I don't own those. I mean, I would like to own a set. I can't justify it really because I think like a lot of us, we've got lots of drill bits laying around. So I don't need to run out and buy a whole other set just to say that I have a set of Walter drill bits. So these are the ones that are more on the inexpensive. If you look at it on a scale, Harbor Freight Hercules is going to be the cheapest one here to buy. Um, I don't think they're good when it comes to metal. It would work good on wood like I'm, you know, I keep saying in the forum. Um, I have not good luck with them on metal. I don't think that they're really useful when it comes to metal changing to the DeWalt and you know the Milwaukee and especially the Milwaukee uh, red helix bits those I really like nothing wrong with the DeWalt though so I mean I would pay the extra and I would get one of the other two these are the three that you know that I have and so they're the ones I'm commenting on um, how can you tell when a drill bit is burning up or burning out on you well take a look when you're using a drill bit Now I drill a lot of steel but I also drill wood I happen lately to be drill, drilling into more steel than wood and take a look at the chips coming off of it and take a look at the drill bit itself if your drill bit starts to get burn marks on it you're overheating it if it starts to turn blue you're overheating it and if the chips that are coming up off of it are not that clean silver and they're coming out burnt or they're coming out blued okay you got something that's not right either the drill bit's not sharp you're turning way too fast or you're not using enough lubricating oil. Now, in one of the past videos, the cheapest, fastest thing I do for lubricating oil, I just use transmission fluid or motor oil in a little squirt can. That's what I use. I don't have a special cutting fluid because I'm not cutting like in a production setting or a machine shop. I'm like a home hobbyist and, you know, out playing around. And those are the things that I use. What I don't use, I don't use WD-40 not really meant for something like that and it's a poor quality lubricant for drilling so use one of the oils or transmission fluids that's you know my advice there watch your speed in the past two videos on drill bits I tell you there are ways to set the drill speed down on your drill press I mean so figure it out and then take a look at the drill bit set that you buy read what it says and it'll probably recommend to you the highest RPM settings now if you can't figure out how to set your drill press don't worry about it. Just set it to the lowest speed to begin with, and you can always bump it up a little bit. But most people grab these, go home, throw them in a hand drill, throw them in a drill press, put force behind them, not enough lubricant, and they burn them up because they're in a rush, and they don't want to take the time to do the things that it takes to increase the longevity of the drill bit. Or they're construction workers with the I don't give a damn attitude. They whip it out of their pack, screw it, no lubricant, don't care about speed, and just blast that hole. And when they finally dull out, they criticize them, call them junk, or throw them out and go buy another set. So you can do that if you can afford it and you want to keep, you know, throwing these away. So it's not what I would do. I tend to take care of my tools, but that's just some advice. I mean, you need to watch the speed. You need to make sure you're using lubricant and don't overforce it. Just, you know, give it about a medium amount of force, turn slowly. And then give it a break once in a while. Don't sit there and put a lot of force on it. Keep trying to drill through something when it doesn't want to drill. It means it's dull. And um, I'll do another video on sharpening them. And it's quick and easy to do. And if you keep them sharpened, they'll last you a long time.
Okay, that's my comment on that. Oh, can I name some others that might be good out at the big box stores? Well, Ryobi makes an okay set. I mean, they're carbon steel. I mean, it's a cheap set. It's probably like about 20 bucks. It'll work. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that set. There's nothing wrong with the Hercules set. It's just not something I would use on metal. I don't care what it says. It's not good on metal. So, the Ryobi, maybe. I don't know. I don't own that set, but it's 20 bucks. Milwaukee, the titanium, um, like here in the picture. Uh, what's the big deal about titanium? Well, it, the drill bit won't heat up as fast. For one, it's a mid-level drill bit set. You can use it on wooden metal, and you're probably looking at somewhere around twenty, twenty-five, twenty-eight dollars. You know, something like that for the set if you buy it out at one of the big box stores. Um, I like the ones when I can find them that are made with cobalt. Cobalt is, uh, you know, is in the material when it's made. It's not a coating. It's actually in the material. So those drill bits are much higher quality when you find that they're made with cobalt. Um, what about masonry bits? Uh, Bosch. Those are the ones that I own. They're outstanding. Um, I only buy single bits, though. I don't buy a set of masonry bits. They can get expensive on you. So I think I have a half inch, and then there's some other diameter one that I have. But I use the Bosch. Um, the, the tips on uh, the Bosch, they're made out of tungsten carbide, and they'll glide right through masonry. Now, I would use a hammer drill if you're drilling through masonry. Somebody said, well, I'll just use a little corded drill. It's kind of hard on them. I would use a better quality drill, and I would make sure it was a hammer drill. That's just a couple of quick tips. I mean, you'll find it'll go through masonry a lot easier if you set it up correctly to begin with. An idea on cost, I think each, I, you know, I paid as much as almost $20 for one masonry bit. But I buy good quality masonry bits because I don't want to sit out there for half of the day fighting the drill. So. Uh, what about spade bits? Well, we did that on another video. Bosch usually is my, you know, my go-to. It's what I have. They work great. I also have Irwin bits for my augers. My auger bits are Irwin. I don't know a lot about a lot of these other brands. I don't own all the brands, but uh, when I did buy these specialty bits, I bought good name brand things. So Irwin is what I use for my auger bits. They're outstanding. I mean, but those things will just grab and go through wood like there's no tomorrow. So I use them on wood turning. I mean, uh, mainly they're used on construction and stuff like that. And you can get longer auger bits. I mean, because they're meant to deflect larger chips and actually grab and really bore through wood i mean at a fairly fast speed and that's what they're made for you want me to rank them in terms of what i would buy why well, it's easy just go right to left i would get the milwaukee then i would get the dewalt and last i would get the hercules i might keep the hercules you know and i'll, I'll be honest this is what i do do now i keep the hercules bits near my drill press because they're my throwaway bits if i have something i'm going to drill a pilot hole in that i think is going to be tough and really tear up my bit or I know that I'm going to have a problem with something, I use those because I don't care about those. I mean, I know that they're not that good of a drill bit, so I tend to burn those up and abuse those first. Then I use either the DeWalt's or the Milwaukee's that I have, and of course, like everybody else, I've got a box of miscellaneous drill bits. You know, I've got Forestner bits, some countersink bits, I mean, all different kinds of bits. But those are the three categories. Just like I said, there were three categories. If you watched my last video on Forestner bits, there's kind of three categories here, you know, when it comes to the twist drill bits. You've got the multi-purpose, the pilot, and the brad points. Those are the main ones. And I'm sure there's lots of manufacturers, a lot of different tips, but these are the main ones, and I've already explained, you know, what, what they've been used for. I don't see a lot of questions. Let me take a quick look here before we wrap this up. Well, the sets in the video, I'm talking about, you know, a very inexpensive set. The Hercules, which will probably get you through a project or two or whatever, like I said. Um, and the other two, well, these are mid-range drill bit sets. Now, the sizes vary. You don't have to buy these exact same sets that takes you from, like, let's say, one size up to another. If you search on Amazon, the sets are built differently, and you can buy whatever fits you the best. You can also, out at most big box stores, buy bits individually if you don't want to buy the whole set. But I would encourage you, as you put together, you know, your drill bits, that you buy good quality bits, either made by DeWalt Milwaukee, Walter, of course, like I said, that's really stepping up your game if you're doing a lot of drilling. They will actually last five times longer than almost any of these bits in terms of, you know, keeping the bit sharp. They'll drill through anything. 
I mean, Walter makes a fantastic product. So, I mean, you can research those if you want. I didn't put them on here because most people aren't going to want to pay the high price. All right. So, any other questions? I don't see any. I'm the home handyman. I hope you click subscribe. Keep following me. If you know of a drill bit set that is equal or greater value or something like that, put it in the comment below. Um, I like the ones that I find, like I said, that are made with cobalt. Um, none of these really are. These are all titanium, you know, nitride coated. And like I said, they'll reduce heat. They'll get you through pretty much anything. And I think that the two in the middle, the DeWalt and the Milwaukee are your better value, you know, dollar for dollar for a good mid-range set. All right, you folks have a good day. Click subscribe one more time. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.